If we don't chart our course, we may well be going round in circles. In recent days and weeks, as if by appointment, I have had the privilege of gleaning first-hand experience and knowledge at the feet of men and women who welcomed our birth into independence as youthful teenagers. Their accounts had me transfixed and teleported to a time when the world lay at Nigeria's feet. Some would ask, when was that time? What struck me in a resounding way is that the story of Nigeria is like a journey with several paths. We appear to have chosen and journeyed down one route, but make no mistake, there are dusty, desolate tracks yet untraveled, which would have led us to a diametrically opposed destination. Paths that, if embarked upon, would have rewritten the narrative entirely and produced 59 years on the giant of Africa indeed, standing tall and proud, a role model of nations. These paths were drafted into our constitutions, sketched into our national anthem, framed in our pledge. These were all inspired by the one thing, the Nigeria of our dreams. But the harsh reality is we chose the other path, the gold rush or rather oil rush route, towards an easy money and every man for himself, never mind the children and the weak, never mind our tomorrow's dreams. We didn't earn the title corrupt nation by accident or random events. We had to learn it. It was and is the product of oft demonstrated and imitated modes of behavior. It has become a national culture, hence the global brand. I have never been a fan of everyone is doing it, especially if everyone is on the highway to hell in a handbasket. Furthermore, it's a blatant lie. Everyone is not doing it. There are always a few good women and men, and we must sift them out like digging up diamonds. We must diligently, deliberately search them out and document our true history and heritage. The good book says, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children and his children's children. In the face of incessant tales of national inheritance squandered at the hands of crooked custodians, the millennials should go seeking role models and learn at the feet of the few good men and women from the previous generation left standing if they are to lay hold of their inheritance. When all is said and done, Nigeria is what we choose to make it. Um, Happy independence, people. Mm -hmm. Happy same, independence. Same, <laughs> same way you have um, these people trying to leave inheritance for their children because they take this your inheritance literally and not um, figuratively. OK, and the not, crooks. Um, yes, and, and so, what you have is a situation where there are no more role models okay. you know, yeah. in, in the spotlights. Okay. And, and so I would, before the program, we talked about um, having mentorship, political mentorship. And that's why you, you hear the likes of uh, uh, B.C. or Nobanjo, Jack Conde, um, Bolaige. Bolaige and Co. say they were mentored by Pa Awolowo himself. Okay. But with the military intervention and that interregnum, the military mentored people, and what did they mentor people in? Corruption. Force. And so, force, psycho fancy, like Emeka said. And so, what you have Survival now. Survival of the fittest. Yes. So, what you have now are the fallout of those mentorship. And you will need a new order to recorrect the mentorship and the focus and the redirection. And that's where people would follow. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, what we have here now is your lawyer. You are a psychophant, and then you are called, you are elevated to the table mm -hmm. of these so-called men. And that's why there seems not to be Like a reward. And <laughs> that, exactly. That's why when you correct them now, you are seen as the enemy. You are called names, detractor, and all sorts. And that's why, to round up on this... You're even told you're not patriotic. Yes, it is easy <laughs> mm. for you to praise and eulogize a man who is not performing so that your daily bread will be certain than to question him. You, you can you can be wiped out from the surface of the wow. earth. Wow, but we have to. I think I think that um, um, it harkens back to all that we've said on numerous occasions. At least I've had the opportunity of being on this show. The fact we talked about how this country was born. Mm. Um, you know, the birth of this country is not as glorious as we like to yes. think it is. Yeah, yeah. The birth of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It's it's the birth of it. Even going back to 1914 mm. was a series of of compromises in 1960, the independence. Yeah. It's not as glorious no. as we, we, we you know, we're patch, patchwork. Mm -hmm. and, and so the business of Nigeria 
has always been around how to put this, patch this patch thing together. together. And the business of Nigeria has Consistent ultimately patching. become politics of power. It's, it's, it's not about development. Mm -mm. It's not about... Common you know, good. Common good. It's about how do I keep power? Mm -hmm. How do I keep power? How, what do I do with power? And how do I keep the other tribe or the other groups away from power? Mm. And so you have the, you've grown. It's like Game of Thrones. Exactly. <laughs> so we have found ourselves, you know, like Libero said, this group of politicians, whether in army uniform or in Agbada, whose entire business is about, you know, mm. maintaining, you know maintaining power. power. And so you have this, you know, almost like a roulette going around my every turn. four years, mm. it's my turn, it's not my turn, exactly. it's our turn, it has to be our turn. Mm. Nothing, you, you never hear any discussion about how do we deal with the fundamental of how this country is and mm. how do we build, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, the next 59 years, how do we construct a vision of a more united, a more developed country? Mm -hmm. You'll not hear that discussion. I mean, we've had a, a system. We're already planning for 2023. Yeah, 23. There's a whole politics now that's devoted to 2023. Um, you know, the game of cards or the game of throne mm. here. But no, no conversation around Oh, education, yes, science, exactly. the vision, mm. trade, technology, infrastructure. infrastructure. Yeah. But all we hear is about who's going to be president mm -hmm. and who's going to be vice, and whether it's yes. going to be the turn of the Igbos mm -hmm. or, or the, the Euro the West <laughs> or the Middle Belt, or mm. they just, that's all we're on about. Yeah. And that's sad. And it that's, is, and, it and, is. And so we can't go forward. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we spoke of mentorship, and I was like, I'm not even sure that it's really mentorship that is, because I think we know what we ought to be doing. Okay. I don't think there's any Nigerian leader or even Nigerian that doesn't really know what the right thing to do. No, it's I can whether, tell you, Joe, there are so many that don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe they're not but focusing on it. That's they don't probably I, I think, no, I so think. Is it not when you know that you focus on? No, 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 they don't want They're deliberately to choosing because to like, like what focus Emeka on other said, things. You know, that's, that's the point I'm going back to. Like what Emeka said, it's, it's about grabbing power. Mm -hmm. You know, there are enough programs. That's what like they even, know. even before that's this show started, I spoke about how I was tired of a particular program airing every year, you know, with key speakers, you know, everybody blowing grammar and you know in terms of what are the solutions to Nigeria's problem we have Everybody's enough an expert. people to tell us so nobody can tell me that they do not know it's a matter we, of where really, we traveled abroad and we see what works outside Nigeria yeah exactly yeah. you know so I, I'm really uh, like I really feel almost like we have no hope because not only wow. do we yeah because not only do we have people who like Laboris pointed out have that military corrupt uh, mentality. We also have a group of youths group. <laughs> what no worry, Benga is coming yeah, with we have youth, the youths youth. who uh, <laughs> have been disarmed in every way. They youth don't, attack. they're not educated, they, they have no motivation, they have no, and, and so their only path can only be corruption. Both the weakness of the youth and, and the, the idleness, idleness of, of the youth. youth, yes. That's a summary. Mm. When you use a ladder to climb, Wisdom and kindness to humanity demands that you leave that same ladder for others, for others to climb. Mm. So it's a combined. But these, our wicked elders, use the ladder to climb. And then they remove it. They remove the ladder, not only remove, they, they destroy it. and, and bump the ladder. Which one are you, elder or? The elder. Our ladder. Our ladder. Our, no, which one are you, Benga? Are oh, you an elder or a youth? <laughs> you have to, um, you have to um, take um, some responsibilities for something. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a youth mentor. I'm an elder. Do you understand? That means you can make a change. So that's what we are saying. That's why we are making this advocacy. Mm, yes. So I agree with you, sir. A new mentorship program must be enforced. Leaders think about next generation, but politicians only think about next election. So everything um, emanated, came from our culture. If you trace our history, there is a kind of force in us. An average Nigeria or an average African is doing whatever he's doing, either to oppress or to impress. Mm -hmm. So I'm the one driving the biggest Bust car. Arrive. Thank you. Yeah. I have arrived. I'm the one doing this. So everybody can stay rank a day. I think that's our problem. Until we begin to be selfless. Jack on in four years. I'm saying it, I've not seen a 20 year regime that has beaten or that has, I mean, uh, surpassed. surpassed what Jack Undy did in four years. That's impressive. Oh. So for that, that, that for me is already a legacy in itself and something we can emulate. Well, we live and learn. Happy 59th year of independence to you. I can't make out if Wenga is doing less of celebrating and more of berating after the break.